when I was in my PhD, I had, hadn't been swimming competitively for years and I was working on my PhD, but I started to just inch my way back to the pool and was doing a bit of master swimming. And I was at a meet and the varsity coach happened to be there. And he, after I swam a race, he said to me, are you a full-time student? And I said, yes. And he said, why are you not swimming for me? And I said, well, aren't I too old? And he said, you just did a whatever time it was. You're definitely not too old. Like come swim for me. So I swam two years varsity in my third and fourth years of my PhD. So I was different than everybody in that club. I was older than them. I was married. I had a mortgage. I was teaching at university classes and you know they were 20 year olds single, all of that stuff. This coach was different. He didn't emphasize swimming as an individual sport. He emphasized it as always the team first, always the team. So it was about, um, it wasn't just like swimming could be very hierarchical where the best fastest swimmers always got the most attention. And then there was kind of a dribbling down, but he wasn't like that. He was like, everybody contributed to the team. Everybody bought, brought different strengths, whether it was your enthusiasm, your kindness, your insight, your, the way you supported other people. It was all part of the, we belong. We were like a family, you know? And when someone was swimming, we all cheered. And if you, you know, if we had a dual meet, you didn't just do your event that you wanted to do the best time at, you did the event that was gonna help the team. So it was all about that, that sense of belonging. And when I, when I think about belonging, I think back to that university team. I think that's why, I, even though I was different than everybody in a number of ways, I've never felt so much like I belong to a group of people. And it's, that's 20 years ago now. And I still think about those people every day. And I still hear Glenn Belfry's voice in my head and how he knew it, sports aren't just about swimming fast. Sports are about so much more than that. And it is about belonging and creating meaning and creating uh, community and connection. And so I've carried that those lessons through my life. And I think about them when I'm teaching writing or teaching anything. So to be back in that exact environment, and it's like everything, the chlorine and the warmth and the splashing, and it just, it just feels like home. And so for me to be able to stand on deck and say to each of those athletes and what in through my body language, my eye contact and everything, like I see you, you matter, your effort has meaning is giving back to those people, the lessons that I learned at a formative stage in my life.